Warning, this spoiler cast does contain spoilers of current and past movies, books, games, TV shows, and possibly your life. So if you're listening to a show called Spoiler Cast and you're pissed off that we gave away spoilers, we really don't care. Thanks again and have a wonderful day. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Spoiler Cast by All Tower Media. This is Alligator bringing you a new episode discussing strange behavior inspired by movies. Make sure to check out our website, alltowerpodcast.com, as well as visit our Facebook page and Instagram at All Tower Media. Be sure to visit our friends with Flick Freaks at all social medias except MySpace, now including Tinder. Go ahead, ladies. Swipe right. Watch for Let's Plays with All Tower Media, Flick Freaks, and Spellbook. Speaking of Spellbook, if you have not yet downloaded Heroes of Dire, I will say you are missing out. Get ready to laugh. I love the click there at the end. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. No, go ahead and get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight, we are talking about strange behavior inspired by my film. Um, but before we get rolling on that, um, hi, Allie. Hi, Matt. You weren't here last time. I was not. But that's all right. Sorry. Um, we, we had Andrew covering for you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. And then tonight, we're missing Jareth. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, there's that. But we did replace him with another J. That's true. We did. Hi, hi Justin. Hola. I'm going to call you Justin for the show. Very well. I'm not going to call you by your whole name on this. No worries. It's going to be like that. So, but yeah. If you need to know what to call him, you call him the long dick of the law. That, that, that is one of my uh, podcast names that I was dubbed. That's his podcast persona. I was thinking dick face, but sure. That works too. <laughs> as, long as, as, long as, that, as long as it's that turtle's dick that we were discussing Jesus. a moment ago. Looks like a giant shovel. Anyhow, um, Dire Monkey, how are you? Peachy. Peachy. How's things here at uh, Spellbook Studios? Um, busier than hell. Busier than uh, uh, dykes in a hardware shop? <laughs> like the things you cut wires with? Yes, that's <laughs> what I meant. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> busier than that. What, what else would they be? I don't know. I'll let you take that where you please. Uh, I, <laughs> Friday, I was handed the task of designing dungeons. So, Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah how's that working out for I you? Have, I have a week to do dungeon design. Oh, yeah. so do, do, you are, do you already have your... Did you just bring in your... Uh, uh, a book of blueprints for that, or like your the ready made stuff you've already got going? Yeah. Or? No, no, this no. is from wrong scratch. kind of dungeon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, bad. no ball My gags bad. included on this one. No. Should, what, well, what about the suspension? <laughs> what about the suspension hooks? Are like, is, is that a thing? No hooks, but nah, plenty nah. of straps. He has a. Dun- <laughs> he probably. I wouldn't put it past him to actually have a dungeon. I mean, I lived with him for a little while, but I don't. I didn't explore the house that much. I could see. I could see <laughs> Dire Monkey having a dungeon. I could see that as well. I call it my playroom. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't just call it your office. No, that's something <laughs> that completely. Insinu- di- that's a completely different fantasy. Listen, that insinuates, but it also it also involves torture. Yeah, so. well, that insinuates work, and you know he's obviously about pleasure in this in this regard. So, mm-hmm. ah. wow, we're off topic already. So yeah. before we even get no, started, this was inspired by movies. Oh, <laughs> what movie? Gray, uh, Fifty Shades, Shades of, Grey? of Grey. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, no. Dire Monkey has no, too much he, class for that. Oh, he wa- so so some snuff films. <laughs> no, I was thinking more like Jenna Loves Rocco. Oh, okay. There you Charity go. Right. Pie, Pirates. <laughs> nice. No, See, eight, that's my kind eight, of man eight right mil- there. Eight millimeter? But is that? Wow. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. That's a little too much. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he just took that to a very dark place. I haven't seen that movie in a long time, though. That's been that's, that's been a, a good one. Movie. That is a good movie. It's it was a very dark. Well, it's dark. It, it, yeah, and it, actually, it if you think about it, well done movie. kind of fitting for our topic for the evening. Yeah, very actually, Dire Monkey. Thank you. We're Ooh. already on track. <laughs> what I do? Hell yes. <laughs> Uh, but before we actually get started, I, now that I've said hi to Allie and uh, uh-huh. and, and I've said hi to Justin and Dire Monkey, um, hi. hi. So uh, I want to say hi to Arch Crusader, which I don't think you know anything about. No, you, I sure don't. Um, I, I'll Clue say, me Justin, in. I know that you're you're. This is only your second time with us. Like ever, that is correct. Yep. So uh, I know that you know anything about Arch Crusader, but I do because I read all his comments. And he goes to our YouTube channel, and he has been watching like 
all of our episodes on all of everything and leaving comments on all of the episodes that he's watched. Awesome. So we have he, a fan. Yeah, he's fantastic. Um, he was over on uh, Flick Freaks listening to them. And then when I started joining Flick Freaks on a semi regular basis, then he started listening over here on All Tower stuff. Nice. So this is my. So hey, what are some of the comments? Hey, con- hey, hey uh, Arch Crusader. Oh, I've got nothing but good things to say so far. He, oh, that's good. Uh, he argues with us on some points. Why is this the first time that I'm hearing about this? I have actually told you before. No, you bullshit. I have. Bullshit. No, Arch Crusader, don't listen to him. He's lying. If I, I had known, I would have given you a shout out a while ago. I, I, Hi. Even, I even gave a, uh, took a screenshot of something he uh, he mentioned the other day because he actually listens to Agents of Sure, which is okay. the other show that we did. And uh, he was talking about how he, he Josie is his mm-hmm. favorite um, his favorite host. Yeah, let's see. How's she doing, right by here. the way? She's doing good. She's down. Uh, she's got herself a, a new a new apartment and all that good business. Said uh, Josie's now my officially my favorite person featured on the cast solely because of the Princess Bubblegums reference. Love that show. Because <laughs> Josie's good for comments of that nature. <laughs> Because she's a wonderful human being that makes really obscure references at times. But uh, at the time, she's pretty point on. But back to our topic at hand. Uh, strange behaviors inspired by movies or books or video games or whatever the source material happens to be. People do some weird stuff. Indeed. Um, here recently, though, what's been making me think about it is all these weird-ass clowns. Now, some of you people are aware. Um, and by that, I mean probably two of the three people in here. And I think Dire Monkey knows, but he might have forgotten. I hate Your clowns. Your insane fear of clowns. I am oh. ridiculously afraid of clowns. I'm sorry. That day in the truck made yeah. me laugh. Okay, so... Shall I tell that story? I, yes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so where were we headed? It was you, me, and Jared. Yeah, we were going and I don't remember. somewhere. You were sitting in the back seat of the truck. I was in the back seat, yep. and you told me that there was something underneath the blanket. Yep. And in Actually, order to prevent... Wrapped, it, was, it was wrapped, wrapped up in inside of a sleeping bag, yes. Yeah, and I didn't know what it was. And of course, me being the nice, kind-hearted person that uh-huh. I am, I don't want to break it. So uh-huh. what do I do? I open the sleeping bag to look at it uh-huh. and to move it. Uh-huh. And, and as I, soon as the go, sleeping oh, bag is, comes up... You're like, oh, this is adorable. And I turn okay. and I half look... Just just one slight little glance over his shoulder, and the hood goes up, and he dives into his fucking car door and goes, put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back, Jared, put it back, fucking put it back. Jared like, looks back, and he was Whoa. like, no, 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 put that away. Put it away now. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Like, I knew that he had a thing with clowns. I did not realize it was to that degree. Like, whoa, dude. So, okay. And my... just little asterisk, footnote, the clown is still in the back of his no, truck. No, it's, under... gone. it's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. It's gone. Where'd it go? Jareth did me a kindness. It is gone. It is finally removed from this world. And where is it? It's in a dumpster or at the dump. Oh. It's gone. I, no, it's gone. It's but gone. But I told you I would have taken that. Well, its hair was like falling off. So what? It was it, old. It was, it was a priceless piece. It was a... Oh, it man. It was horrible looking. That's... No, it was fucking adorable. <laughs> Shut up, Dire Monkey. So, okay, so here's here's the story behind it. Um, my kids would have loved that. No, they would have grown up terrified as I was. No. So my grandmother, years and years and years ago, she she bought all of these porcelain dolls. Had a whole yes. room. Had an entire bedroom full of nothing but shelves yes. and porcelain dolls. That's all. And And there were three of them that reminded my grandmother of us three kids and she wanted us to have them. And so she gave them to my father and my dad had left them in his attic forever and ever and ever. And then finally dad was like, you know, I, I think I'd like you to have these. And so I come over and he's like, Oh, you know, here you go. And gives me this like bag and it's got something inside of it. I don't know what it is. And I went to open it and I'm like, Holy shit. Well, I couldn't <laughs> bring myself. Bag. I couldn't bring myself to get rid of it. So it right. just went into a storage unit. <laughs> and so it just sat there forever because I didn't want to get rid of it because, you know, my grandma gave it to me. But at the same time, I'm like, I really want it to just burn, like, to the ground. I don't want it anymore. It's horrible looking. It reminds me of that, uh, was it, FedEx or UPS commercial where they're like, we need to send this back. And there's that clown. And he's like, that's not so bad. And they're like, it's in the <laughs> middle of the room. It was, like, over there, but now it's in the middle of the room. It's, like, looking at him with the yes, head turned sideways. And they're like, that. oh, yeah, that's got to go. It's that. It was horrible. Just this terrifying little monster. and but It then was I, pink and adorable. It was purple and horrible. There was pink on it. It may have had a little pink. I didn't look at it that close. Um, all I know is, is that... that reminded your 
grandmother of you? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't that tell you something? Yeah, it's super yeah, it's, weird. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> so. I, I, I get this. I close out my storage unit, and I didn't have a place for it because it's obviously not going to stay in my apartment. Told you it could have stayed at my place. <clears throat> no, listen. So I didn't know that at this point in time. So I put sure. it in the back seat of my truck underneath the seat where its feet were hanging out. And I could still <laughs> see its feet. Okay. And I had another friend with me at one point in time. What happens when it runs back t- at you then? Just wait. Just wait. You're going to love this. This is a great story. So uh, I had another friend who they were standing there with me, and they see these these feet hanging out from the bottom of this thing. And I was cleaning out one, uh, the front door of my truck, and it was in the back seat. And um, they're like, what's this doing here? I'm like, it's so I know it's still there. Just leave it alone. <laughs> and they were like, ha, ha, ha. And they pull it out, and they're like looking at it. And I half turn, and I'm like, Jesus, put that thing away. So they go to put it back. Well, I hear them like fumbling around with it. I'm thinking, all right, they're putting it back, right? Well, I half turn and look. Well, instead of putting it back, the frame piece of the door for the front seat right next to where the seat or the driver's seat is, like the, the headrest, the they put it, yeah, the, the, the A pillar. The B pillar. The B, B pillar, sorry. They, they stuffed it through there <laughs> between there and the head seat. And I half turn, and here's this pink, fluffy, horrible hat. And hair just like right next to my head. I actually like barrel rolled across the parking lot trying to get away from it because I didn't realize it was there. They about fell down laughing. They end up pulling it back out of the doorway. They're like, I'm sorry. And then they wrapped it up inside the, uh, uh, the, uh, the sleeping bag for me. So this way they're like, there's no way it can get you now. It's in the sleeping bag. It'll never get out. And I'm like, cool. So I'm driving along and then she drags it out of the sleeping bag. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, put that thing away. They, you should have put it up for your Buddha to have someone Ugh. to to chill next to. <laughs> your, your Buddha needed a friend, Mm-mm. and you could, you had one right there, Mm-mm. and you didn't do it. Nope, 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 oh, yeah. nope. So that's been my horrible experience with a little porcelain clown. And then in reality, the there are these morons out in the world that are like, you know what, I want to, I want to go out tonight, mm-hmm. but I don't want to go out like normal tonight. I want to go out and like. Scare the shit out of people. So let's get dressed up like clowns. And then there have been people that have been cited, like, trying to lure children off into the woods. There's been other people that are, like, standing in the middle of the street. And people doing some real dumb shit dressed like clowns. Now, you were telling me a fun story a minute ago <laughs> about three of them. Yeah. That, so everyone, there's, there's all these videos now of these people doing these pranks because they're dumb and yeah (laughs) and while i find them hilarious i also sit there and think you guys are just asking for it you're asking to get shot beat something yeah like i mean it's just it's it's bound to happen yeah because not every not everyone responds with cowardice correct now as it turns out there was a reported story of one of these clowns getting shot in the head which was reported by a legitimate news source but they didn't actually fact check and it was false however that's unfortunate (laughs) yeah however some of these videos still show things going terribly wrong Mm mm-hmm and they have this 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 one, this one particular montage, which I was hoping you were going to watch, but gee, I, I can't imagine why you nice. didn't. <laughs> um, it uh, it starts off kind of your typical you know montage of just like you know this couple second clip of people walking along and these guys doing something. And they come out and, and it scares crap out of them. So there's three clowns, one cameraman, four of them out doing this stuff, and they as they're scaring all these people, they come to this one guy that's walking down the alley, and he. They, you know, they, they go to do their thing to scare him. And instead of like running away, he draws a gun <laughs> and he starts screaming at the, you know, the first, or, you know, get back, get back, get back. And then the camera's like, Hey, you know, it's, it's just a joke. It's a prank. He starts screaming at the cameraman. And then pretty much the, the, uh, that's awesome. The, uh, uh, clip I hate ends. you. I hate you. Get it <laughs> off the screen. <laughs> For those of you listening, Dire Monkey decided to throw a. Uh, I knew it was the gonna clown happen. from uh, Killer. Tim was that Killer Clowns from Outer Space? No, no that's, that's Pennywise. It. That, Pennywise. Oh, that yeah. is it. Anyway, throw that up uh, on the then <sighs> it immediately cuts to another clip where they have this this fake body in a parking garage, and as these these six or seven individuals are walking through, just having a having a good night, these three clowns come out, and one of them takes this his sledgehammer and pretends to smash in a head you know it looks like a head and everything goes and and it's kind of funny because like 
as I told you before, you could really use it as a uh, as an example of reading body language because the people that are walking are very overt in what they're going to do. And I'm watching it, and before anything even happens, I'm like, yeah, these guys are going to fight. They're not running. They are <laughs> fighting. Like, this, this is happening. And so they smash the head in, and these three clowns start advancing on these other six people. Wrong move. Yeah, well, I mean, and they're, they're carrying weapons. You, you've got a, a sledgehammer. I think one's got like a baseball bat. One might have a, a machete or something. I mean, they've, they've all got stuff in their hands that look like weapons, and they're all acting very menacing. Well, instead of running away, these guys, a couple of them take a step back, but they all just charge in, <laughs> and they straight roll those clowns. I mean, they <laughs> beat the everlasting crap out of them. And, and like one guy's even like running around. He's doing like a round robin. He's going to hit this clown, then he runs over and hits this clown, then he runs over and hits the other clown. <laughs> But I mean, like they get him down. Like one, one of the guys even grabs the clowns by the foot and he just like drags him over, and, like throws him into one of the side walls of of, of the uh, parking garage. And it was kind of funny because when the guy pulls out the gun, everyone says, "Okay, it's just a joke," and even the cameraman says it. Well, in this other one, the cameraman's watching this and he's watching his friends just get the snot kicked out of him. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. He just sits there. He's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just here." And then of course the montage ends. But I'm, I'm sitting and thinking, I'm like, well. You know, you guys kind of are asking for it. I mean, yeah. it, I, I get it's fun to 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 uh, make people run away, but it's that fight or flight. Um, it's not always flight. <laughs> yeah. There are some people that will fight, yeah. and and honestly, you know, if if you're on a jury, w- could could you not at least like understand? Or, yeah, yeah, for you, of course, it'll be oh, clowns totally understand. But even if it was something else, what if they dressed up as grasshoppers? I mean, I, you know, yeah, whatever. Fill, it doesn't fill in the really blank, matter. Fill in the blank for something someone's terrified If you've got of. someone that's intentionally trying to scare someone, and that person that they're trying to scare ends up being so scared that instead of running away, they just... Lash out? Yeah. They, 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 they feel like they're back attack. into a corner. Yeah, I mean, they... whatever. I'm sorry. I, I think that's a legitimate thing. Like, I get that. Yeah. It's like, well, okay. Yep. You know, that's... What did you think was yeah. going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. I mean, you got to be willing to take the take mm-hmm. the risks. I mean, yeah. it's, it's it's that's that is that's the a risk. risk. That is the risk. Well, it's like in the, you know anywhere in Missouri where you know someone has the ability to defend their home. Burglars all the time are taking their lives in their hands, breaking yeah. into a house because it's like, you know, I could get shot breaking in here, but I'm going to do it just the same. Yeah, well, yeah. And, but here's the here's the thing about them. And then suddenly they're surprised when they're you know breathing through another hole. <laughs> they're really not. Most of these people are not good at making decisions. No, like life's decisions. Like you know, and that that's what separates. I think a, a lot of these people. They're not very good at making decisions. It's not they're bad people they just aren't very good at making life well, it's decisions. forward thinking because they thought about it and they thought it would be funny and they're like oh yeah and they, they've seen you know videos and they've seen stuff and they have these ideas and it oh it works right and they've got this idea in their head and they go okay so they're expecting those same results and so instead of forward thinking a little bit further going well what if this doesn't go the way i want it to what's the worst that could happen and and so you end up with these really really negative things that are occurring where people are getting hurt or run over but or I, I'm actually <laughs> I'm I'm oddly okay with it because I'm one of the people you know I'm not saying let's kill everybody I'm let's say remove the warning labels and let you know yeah let's just kind of let people out. fix themselves I am totally yeah. I am totally fix okay. themselves yeah. I'm totally with okay with, with with the whole Darwin the the, the effect of Darwinism oh, yeah. like I'm I'm the totally guy on, the there's guy a reason that, that that's a thing the yeah. guy the guy that yeah. wants toast while they're taking a shower right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm we'll just fill in the blank on what goes from there. So, uh, you know, Ali, I know that you've seen some of these things. Uh, I'm certain online, and you've been about the clowns about, and everything. Yeah, yeah, you've you've been seeing stuff. like I that. haven't done as much research as some others might have. But well, I, you know, I've I don't. Seen, I don't, I've heard. I really don't think that uh, that Justin's actually done any real research per se. He just is aware. I just of haven't them. seen those videos. Gotcha. Um, but I, I found a, a, a list uh, earlier the other day of movie inspired. Um, Crimes Ooh, that uh, this should be interesting that, that uh, people have uh, apparently tried to emulate to a degree, replicate. Yeah, and uh, copycat I, murders. I, it's y- a thing. No, oh, yeah, it's um, totally a thing. You know, I mean, you got the 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 uh, lunatic that went and uh, shot up the place, thinking he was the Joker. Mm-hmm. Okay, now what's worse? Let me ask you, just in your opinion, yeah, the sick fuck that commits the crime originally. Or the sick fuck that thinks it's so cool and has to do it again. What's worse in your head? Honestly, I think that uh, the the repeat would be worse between the two if if you're looking okay. at it in, in that light. Because I mean, you got you know 
the action itself was bad, and yes. everybody looks at it and they're like, ah, it's terrible. And so everybody gets to sit back and analyze it, and then you got one person's like, ah, you know, I, th- I think I want to do that. Yeah, I think I want to try that. And you're like, what the hell is wrong yeah. with you? Seriously, you just want to grab those people and shake them and go, why do you think that looks so good? Why, why is that fun for you? Seemed like a good idea at the time. No, it really <laughs> doesn't. Never ever does copycat murders should ever seem like a good idea at the time. But you know, somewhere, someone down, yeah. somewhere down the line, oh, go ahead. Just, which one is actually more dangerous though? Because if the copycat is copying, that means he's not original enough to come up with it on his own, and he's less likely to succeed. I think between Whereas the two. Whereas the original is is really developing the concepts and doing these things. I think that uh, based off the question of who's more dangerous, it would be the original. I, yeah, I yeah. agree. Uh, whereas your copycat could end up emulating anything. He just See, happens to have found uh, intrigue on... And that's where I would disagree, just because most copycat murders are usually based on some sort of serial murder. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that that always seems to be what I hear. Like, there's some serial murder that has some certain not, pattern. Not, not necessarily. And then the copycat murders I, I think, idolize that for some reason. It, to te- do it television again. sensationalizes that. Oh, but that, hard. that's that's not necess- that's actually not the truth. Um, most people they they copy and emulate something, but it's usually whatever sticks out in their mind. Right. So if you have something that is just like, all right, well, here's one. What was the one that was going to happen? Um, in uh, the guy, the guy was. I'm trying to remember. He was going to go shoot up the wall, or he was going to Walmart to go shoot it up because he wanted to. Uh, here in town? No, it was it was just north of here. Oh no, that's what it was. He his mom told on him. Okay. Remember, he was going to go shoot up the uh, movie theater because he wanted to do like, like the the uh, Joker like the one out in uh, Colorado. Uh, Colorado. Yep. But his mom told on him. They got arrested, and now he's in a, in a nut ward. But the thing is, is that, that was what stuck out in his mind. Now the guy who did that. I mean, I guess you could say they're a serial killer because they killed several people at once, but it's not the same thing. It's not someone who goes out and, you know, night after night and does all that. Right. It was something that was sensational. So a lot of these people that copy, they're simply copying what is, what, what sticks out in their mind. I right. guess serial killer was probably not the right, uh, the right turn of phrase. Maybe I, I just some think sort of that, sensational. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it, you know, okay. Well, it's like this, this list that I was looking at here, you know, um, it talks about uh, uh, the movie, The Town. And have, have you ever seen the that movie? That is an town? excellent, no. excellent movie. T- tell us, what's the town about, Justin? Do you know? Do you remember? The bank robber? Yeah. Yeah. Well, explain it. Do you remember the premise right, of the movie? So the premise of the movie is you've got Charlestown, uh, or Charleston in uh, Massachusetts, and that's actually where more bank robbers have, or according to the movie, I have not, I've never actually researched the stat, but it says that more uh, bank robbers have come out of Charlestown than any other place. Hmm. And it's it's kind of a rougher area, and it, it's it's referred to just as, as the town. You know, people that live there are called townies and, you know, stuff like that. Um, well, you've got this crew, uh, which is headed by Ben Affleck and uh, backed by uh, uh, oh, Hawkeye. What's Hawkeye, his, yeah, what, that, whatever I, his, that guy. I, I forget his name. <laughs> uh, um, and I got, I then a few, a then second. a few other people. But like you know, of course, they're the two main ones. And they rob banks, but they take it seriously. They know what they're doing. They're very good at it. Um, they're also willing to go the distance. They're willing to engage in gunfights. They're willing to go toe to toe with whoever is there. And it is spectacularly well done. It's the one where they dress up like nuns. Oh yeah, that does look kind of familiar. Yeah. So um, they. Is his name on there? Let's see. Dire Let's Monkey. See. Yeah. Hey, Dire Monkey. Let me see. Uh, top video for, you know, Matt's viewing pleasure. No, no, uh, no. <laughs> what are we doing here? He's pulling up a video. Uh, let's see here. It's Ben Affleck, uh, Rebecca Hall. Uh, where is it? Ah, he changed things again. Um, so I want, I want the, to know what Hawkeye's name is now. It's bugging me. Uh, Jeremy Renner. There you Jeremy go. Renner, thank, thank you. you. I knew uh, it was just, Jeremy something. It yeah. just, it, I don't know why it took, took you a minute. Then, yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't <laughs> fucking do it. Well, you get to watch the end when it gets rolled. <sighs> I can't see what's happening. I'm out of the loop here. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, so with this, um, a, p- a portion of the movie follows uh, Ben Affleck's character, and he falls in love with this chick who happens to be one of the hostages that they take um, during one of their, their heists, right? And it spends the remainder of the movie following basically him as he tries to lead something of a double life between trying to protect her as well as separate himself from his crew because he's like he's trying to take a backseat to it all. He's trying to get out of it. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of like it starts off. I mean, he's he's more or less he's okay doing what he's doing, right? And but then, then he finds he her. finds her because 
he wants to make sure that she can't identify him because some things went wrong. And so he's just kind of wanting to, you know, check everything out, make sure that they are safe and clear. He ends up developing a relationship, yada, yada, yada. And, okay. and it, it kind of takes a very typical, you know, movie uh, role. Of course, the entire time the FBI is trying to hunt them down. And uh, uh, they, you know, since that's what they do, they've got to continue to do it um, in order to make money and get their goal. And, you know, then he, you know, he wants to make the big score and leave and get out of it and, and all that. And Jeremy Renner's not really down for that. Like he is, he just wants everything to continue on just the way it is. And he just doesn't care. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. He is, you know, for the group, he is the crazy one. He's the muscle. He's the sergeant at arms. He is the, the enforcer, uh, if you will. And he's okay. willing to make sure that everybody yeah. stays the course. That, that <laughs> there's a clip on fa- the role makes its, its rounds on Facebook pretty regularly where Ben F. like walks into a room and, and Renner's watching a movie. And he's like, um, I need your help. We're going to go hurt some people. I can't tell you why. And Renner looks at him and says, okay, we're taking your car or mine. <laughs> And obviously, I'm paraphrasing it, but I mean, like that's that's the clip. Well, it comes from the movie The Town. Okay, right. what does it have to do with the copycat? Well, stuff? it's not necessarily based off the copycat. It kind of is. Uh, it's this is just one of the things that's inspired by film, uh, apparently. And this is according to uh, NBCNewYork.com. Um, uh, for NBC. Right. See, okay. that's that's what this is. Uh, it says uh, Brooklyn burglary crew inspired by Aflac movie, and uh, apparently these guys um, they watched this film and uh, they were suspected of sixty two burglaries at uh, delis, discount stores, and pizzerias in Brooklyn and Queens, uh, and they made off with uh, two hundred seventeen thousand dollars, and uh, they said that they were inspired. My uh, suspects told detectives they'd watched the bad guys in the Ben Affleck directed film doing the same thing. Well, um, I guess when I when I brought up the copycats, I was talking about like horrific murders, not necessarily yeah. crime stuff like this. Because I mean, that kind of stuff um, happens all the time. Murders crime, just just FYI. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm aware of that. <laughs> I, I just, I just so you know, I'm aware in, in of most, that. In most locales, that is a crime. I'm very well aware of that. I was just discerning a difference between robbing and murder. What I had in my head. What I was mentioning when I was talking about copycat crimes gotcha. was was things like horrific murder. That's where I was going with it. Gotcha. But well, even even with that though, I mean, people are still going to go out and do what is most spectacular and going to get their get their the name recognition as well. Mm. Not necessarily the Ted Bundys and and well, according to the same such. list, uh, <clears throat> the movie Scream and it specifies it says an American judge once told once <laughs> described Scream, the iconic cult horror film, as a very good source to learn how to kill someone. How, how is that iconic? I have you know it, because it's I think I think to my great. to my understanding of it, it is a horror movie. About horror movie tropes. That's like what it is. Yeah. And because of it, it's what makes it, it what I, makes it iconic is because it is like the epitome of uh, horror movie tropes. See, it's a classic. I, I honestly, yes. you know, it, to not to make fun of the judge, but I'll be honest, that would be kind of hilarious if someone showed up at my house acting like Scream. Do you want to die? <laughs> Bang. So died. I don't. What? But according to according to this, someone actually tried to do that at some point in time. Apparently, uh, and apparently they failed. Since we're reading about it now, well, yeah, no, I, I get to my from what it's from what it's. I won't go into the specifics of it all. I'm sure people can look this up on on their own time. But they uh, this this cat, uh, he and his girlfriend were getting after it, and uh, she didn't want to, and he went into the other room, changed clothes, came back, and stabbed her, and killed her. And then yeah, he was I, trying to, like, I don't know that you could really say that scream inspired. That's but he was just, dressed like the scream guy. Oh, oh, okay, well, but people dress. Uh, what, all right, sure. It's we'll specified. It says her her. Um, she had befriended a 24 year old and was visiting him at home one day uh, when he pros- uh, propositioned her, and she refused. He excused himself to another room, uh, donned the iconic ghost face costume, and selected two large knives and used to stab her 30 times in a manner uh, of the victim. Uh, in the film's opening scene, after the deed was done, he made a few phone calls and then confessed to the crime and later admitted to police he'd planned the incident modeled after the film. I'm, I would like to know what model he found because I don't remember any of that happening in the film. Yeah, the first, he the, called, the, very, the very first one he does. Where he, where he calls and, 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 and then just confesses. turns himself in? Yeah, yeah. No, that part doesn't no, happen. No, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's in the third one. 
Is it? Yeah. Is it straight to it like starts off with a killing and then the rest of the movie is them just dealing with the aftermath of someone being stabbed it, to death. I, I, basically the third one takes place uh, a copycat killer of a copycat killer and them trying to trick the police into Oh, for the love of Pete. Yeah. Basically, the third one takes place because a bunch of producers couldn't come up with anything else to spend you know, we were on. Having, we were having the same discussion just before we came over here about the movie Boondock Saints. They're going to make a third one. Yes. And Jesus Christ. Yeah, they should not do that. The first one was outstanding. <laughs> the first one, wonderful movie. I was second one is super... literally the same movie over again. No, I think they could have worse. done. No, no, it's but far worse. worse. Yes. It's I think far they... worse than the first one. They, they, they could have had a good second movie if they had done they, it relatively quickly after the first one and not waited, what, 10, 15 years to I, do it? I think they still could have done a, a decent one if they hadn't have tried so hard. But it's like, yeah. oh, wow, we've got more money, so what are we going to spend it on? I don't know. Let's do some Matrix-style effects and put yeah. her in a stupid cowboy. Gosh, why, why, why cowgirl? Oh, because I like them. <laughs> okay, it has nothing to do with the story. Ah, sh- Okay, let's go. Yeah, and then they have I mean, the Rocco cares? Ghost come back for no, for you really know, no reason. Honestly, I wish they would have just had Rocco Ghost the entire time and gotten and and not had this the the Hispanic guy because yeah, he the was Hispanic terrible. guy was awful. He was effing horrible. Yeah, yeah. I think that was probably the worst part of the whole. Yeah, thing. like I. But they have to have the foreign sidekick. No, they <laughs> they don't. They, they really they don't. They could have a sidekick. They don't. And he doesn't have to be foreign. I was about to say the first movie. He wasn't exactly. I mean, and he he's, just he, was mafia. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's that's kind they, of his thing. What would have been funny is if the sidekick would have been Ron Jeremy. Oh, yeah. That would have been funny. But yeah. he got shot to death in the first movie. I, yeah. I'm just saying that would have been funny. A little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't say it would work in the storyline. No, I just thought it, it would really, be funny. It wouldn't. <laughs> no, yeah, but Make, twin brother. Hey, there you go. That would work. <laughs> that that would have made things work. I mean, kind of like The Simpsons, yeah. how they brought back Fat Tony after they killed him off. Yeah, okay. You got the twin brother or beer fest. Yep. Yep. They there you back. go. Yep. So. Yeah. Another excellent movie. surprise twins. It's now, a thing. Now, while we're on the, while we're on the topic, <laughs> didn't you know he had a brother? This while, is weird. While we're on the topic of sequels, um, Super Troopers. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. happening. That yeah, movie's coming out. Happening. I have been hearing about Super Troopers to Super Supers for at least five years now. I am not look, going. Look, I know. Look. Look. I know. It's right there. Look. Look. I look. can't. It's. I'm blocked S- here. Stand up. No. It says its status is filming. And I know that, but it has said filming for a few years now. It's uh, last updated it 16 before. of August, uh, 16th of August. And that's fine. That's In fine. February or March of this year, they uh, successfully completed a Kickstarter campaign or a GoFundMe, one of those. And it's uh, got the what thing that says, All I know uh, is the that my... Is, the time is meow. My time Mark hop meow. showed me the time a, is meow. a post that I shared Do I look four nimbly, nimbly? years ago. Four years ago, that said Super Troopers Two was coming. From tree to yeah, tree. but now it is. And so I know, they didn't but I'm lie not to you. going to. They, were, I, they weren't lying. I'm not That's saying true. that they were lying to me, but I'm not going to get excited about it until I start seeing commercials on, and trailers because on, I've been on, hearing about it on, for so on, long. On, on on March 24th, 2015, Broken Lizard launched an Indiegogo campaign to raise two million to produce the film. Just over 24 hours ago, I don't know when this was posted. Uh, they had already surpassed the goal, and the movie was greenlit. Click for here for more. Um, I got nothing. I don't. I, I don't know where else to go from there. I don't want to read the rest of that. Half the movie's already been filmed. No, there you go. Yay. So that's that's what we're getting from that click. Well, so. I like I said, I've been hearing stuff about it for years. I'm just not going to get too excited until I start seeing commercials uh, and getting, trailers. It's it's that's in all. theaters 2017. We've, okay. We've got- so a little lot of, man, there's a lot of good. Well, there's, I say a lot over there's, the next couple of months. There's, there's, a, there's get, at least two two good uh, sequels coming out. Then hopefully, if, if, what's the other one? Uh, John Wick. Oh yeah, John Wick was yeah, amazing. If the release gets pushed back, it wouldn't be the first movie to have its release date pushed back. So, like I said, oh, I'm just amazing. not going to get too excited there's until past I see something. photos from the um, filming from two. Yeah, there it is, right there. Right meow it happens. Right meow. The Doesn't time mean is it's meow. Not gonna get pushed back. The time is it meow. happens. Yep, I got you, good fucker. <laughs> Say Car Ramrod. See? Say Car Ramrod. Oh, I wrote it on the paper. Forgot. I just forgot. Just, sorry. Forgot. Uh, Have you always ever been to Mexico? That's the best. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, people have done... There. I would like to... Uh, could... Could maybe someone go out there and copycat Super Troopers? That would be fun to watch. I'm certain that could like, be that, that would be That would be cool. Like, I'd give a shiny nickel to someone who got arrested for... Pulling super trooper stuff, yeah, but that wouldn't be the same. Just saying, if we're gonna if we're gonna have movie inspired stupidity, let's make it great. 
But it always is ins- there, is, it always results in someone getting hurt or killed or yeah. as long you know, as it's like not maimed. me or mine, I'm I'm okay with. Is it. that a thing? It, me or mine? No, yeah, I'm not. as long as it's not them, I'm all right. Uh, well, I, I don't I don't. Particularly- I mean, that's why we watch. That, why do you think the Jackass movies are are popular? Yeah. People don't care as long as it's not them or someone but they those, care about. So okay, I think that the whole and oh. And while we're on the topic, Jackass has inspired a lot of jackasses really to go stuff. out and do really stupid stuff. That's true. That so, is true. And in fact, I, I think that probably I think that's, has inspired that's the point. more than any Jackass of the Jackass itself is a copycat. Yeah, but I think... CKY used to do that first. Fair enough. True. Yeah. So I think that the, the point of all of this is, and, and we're seeing it more and more... Um, People are unoriginal and they have to no, copy someone it's, else? No, it's not even that. It's that everyone is looking to create a YouTube video or a Vine. Mm-hmm. That's very true. That's all it is. Uh, that's it's, very that's true. That's literally what it is. They see Everybody's that looking to get famous on social media. Well, yeah. They're, they're, they're looking at it and they're going, oh, that's <laughs> super do? That's super duper funny. We should also try that. It's because they have no do. talent or skill of their own. Well, no, don't, don't, no, don't, <laughs> not, I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily think that that's the case because I know that over on Flick Freaks at times, Andrew has done some stuff that's either similar in nature or um, the same as um, other channels or you know things of that nature. Okay, but but mimicking a podcast or or a radio show or mm-hmm. something of that nature is not going out in public and doing dumb things that right. can get yourself hurt, that can get well, other people hurt. It's a completely kinda different like, thing. Uh, kind of like whatever it can be. Well, yeah, kind of like the the thing where um, uh, Jareth and I, you know, ate a spoonful of cinnamon and I puked while we were filming it was okay yeah but that's you know stupid challenges this isn't people as dressed be. as clowns and then luring kids into fucking woods or <laughs> or running at people and then end up getting shot by the off-duty police officer that's yeah. right there when they have a gun yeah you know because that that is that it, is it is stupidity at its finest it is and mimicry is not necessarily the bad thing it's it's not mimicking somebody else's idea that's that's the crime that's right. the problem it's the doing the dumb shit that is a risk to you it's you a risk to, to other out people what to mimic yeah, yeah. You I, have to you have to be choosy about what you decide to copycat. So it's and not make a matter sure you're not putting anybody's life in danger. Right? It's not a matter of being like those kids in Australia that we were talking about before the, we came oh, in here. The, the two brothers yeah. that would dress as the Taliban terrorists and then walk around and throw shit at people and yeah. then run away pretending like it's a bomb and then one of the brothers ends up getting shot. Yeah. So people that I think that people, is just asking. So yeah. it's 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 funny. Operating off of people's fears because some people's sure. responses right. are freaking hysterical. They are. Well, here's, they are. Okay. Here's I mean, thing, just though. scaring the shit out of somebody. Everyone else that's there that yeah. didn't get the shit scared out of them, they laugh their ass off. Oh, especially love- if it's a great. Uh, all all comedy is at the expense of someone or something. All comedy. I there is nothing that you can think of or that you can say that's funny that isn't at the expense of someone or something or true. some idea. That is true. There's there that's that's just the way it is. There's always going to be well, that's what the punchline is. That is what that is what the punchline is. That is what it is. Yeah. It's, but I, I mean, like, it doesn't it's have to be. It doesn't have to necessarily be a person. It can be making fun of a, a well, like a concept. Or a it can concept be a concept or, a car or, uh, you know, or even you can make fun uh, of anything. Uh, stereotypes. Uh, you got uh, you know someone else's pain or whatever. There are punchlines there, yep. and people find them entertaining because they're funny. Because it's at the it's, expense of something or someone it's else. It's not you. It's a portion exactly. of. It's a portion of you know the human experience because you're like, ha ha, that happened to you. Didn't happen to me. That was super funny. And then when it happens to you, like that's not funny. Well, or, actually. Not there's, funny. There's actually a lot of comedians out there that don't talk about other people. They talk about themselves and the horrible shit that they go through. True, but that's it's still at the expense. It's still of. at their expense. Well, right, but that's better than other other people's expense. True, and I, and, and I, I suppose that's... kind of it. They're telling the jokes at their own expense, but they know they're doing that, knowing that you're going to laugh because it's not your expense. It's still theirs. Exactly. It's, it's still someone it's else. Still focused. I mean, down self self deprecating humor is, is is a great thing, and mm-hmm. and you know. Everyone should it serves be its willing place. to do it, um, but my point being that there's, there's always going to be a loser at that. I mean, yeah. that's part of that's kind of where that comes from. I, I agree with that entirely, wholeheartedly. Okay. I, I think that's because it's funny as shit to scare the hell out of you. But I'm you really know. glad that Jareth wasn't there in that dark hallway when I came back from the bathroom. Yeah, because even though every time he tries to scare me, it doesn't work. No, okay, <laughs> there was one time it worked, and she about punched that's me in the time. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because Jareth was hiding in a in a room back here, Allie, and is, he does it like every week. Ritualistic. She, yeah. We always get in here. We always set everything down. She's always like, "I'll be right back. I gotta go pee." So she goes off into the hallway. She goes to the bathroom, and then Jareth sneaks off into the one of the rooms, and then he stands there with his hands up like a little hobgoblin, and then tries to scare her when she comes back. Literally, it what he does is work. just go rawr. Yeah, it doesn't work. Never okay? does. 
But I was standing over here around the secondary corner that she wasn't aware of. So when she walked around the first corner and Jared's like, rawr, she's like, it doesn't work. Rawr. And then as they're coming around the corner, I go, Whoa. she's like, rawr. yeah, I did about, I'm punch fairly you. certain she about touched the ceiling. I did. <laughs> you know, that, you know, that cartoon yeah. where the dog sneaks up behind the sleeping cat and barks. And then the cat goes screaming to the ceiling and it's hanging there by its claws. But it's fur stays down there on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> That was me. <laughs> you know, if Jareth really wants to up his game, what he needs to do is like get the like the whipped cream thing, and like if she walks by, she's like, tell her, like just wham right in the face. No, Don't give him ideas. Jareth knows I would kill him he, though. She would kill him. I would absolutely murder him dead. I like, would. Fair, she would. So him would up. you, Jareth? Would, when you listen to this later, do don't you fucking dare. Would Would you impersonate the the scream guy when you did that? I mean, like you'd already have the white face I don't, and all the cream. No, no, no. no it won't it, because it's I'm, not premeditated. She would, no. she would just clean her face off real casually, real calm like. <laughs> she'd be like, you know what? And then she'd walk to the bathroom. She could. She'd get herself all composed she'd come back out here we do the episode everything would be fine <laughs> just fine but then later later i'd find Jareth like strung up by his big toes from a ceiling someplace <laughs> with like all the meat yeah, from his like upper me. body just peeled off of him yeah that sounds like me. so then it's inspired by predator yeah <laughs> like that just like that except it's a prettier killer yeah you know <laughs> she still makes that clicking I, sound no I, don't. <laughs> no I don't no i don't and I don't have the, the mandibles on the face that open up. We don't you know. know that. You can't prove that. <laughs> that's, no mandibles. That doesn't no mean mandibles. It doesn't mean that you're not keeping them retracted for the purpose Oh, my of God. <laughs> no, see, I don't have the mandibles. I've got the, the xenomorph little mouth. Oh, that is that what it is? Yeah. You have one of the little things that punch people in the yep. face? Yep. There you go. No shoulder cannons? I'm, I'm a puncher. Don't yeah, right. a puncher. <laughs> <laughs> don't get punch. A tongue <laughs> puncher? What? A tongue punch? A tongue punch. Tongue punch. She's got a <laughs> tongue punch. <laughs> I was waiting for that joke, honestly. I'm sitting here Son like waiting for the tongue punch. Uh, it's like, oh, you know what? I appreciate that because you don't know me well enough to crack a joke like that. These two do. And they've heard some fucked up stories. I <laughs> so I like that you left it. Fly for about you didn't know, leave the creep. <laughs> But oh. yeah, that's why I was sitting here looking at you like that. I was like, I'm like, all right, wait for it. Come on, somebody. I was going to make the joke if no one else did, but I'm like waiting. I'm like, please, like somebody got to do it. Suddenly, I can't. The get, door is wide open. Suddenly, somebody drive through I, it. I can't. I can't get the uh, that Skittles commercial out of my head now. <laughs> Where he's like, ah, oh, all over you. <laughs> yeah. You mean the band one? Yeah. 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 God, <laughs> that uh, one killed me. Uh, <laughs> See if they if they can't leave things like that on TV very long. But oh, we know we're getting this one banned. Oh but yeah, for a while people are going to be talking about it. Oh yeah. We'll, well, and then there's also YouTube, and then so. they'll put yeah. it back up on YouTube. So it's not like it's going away. So I think they just know. They know that, that it's not going to be there. Tell you what, when I saw that, I never wanted Skittles more. <laughs> <laughs> Giggity. Oh, for the love of Pete. So <laughs> who's Pete? <sighs> Does he splooge Skittles? <laughs> <laughs> I don't Maybe. know. Never met him. <laughs> don't know. That's a fine question, though. When you meet him, you can ask him. Okay. Uh, do you split Skittles? And he'd be like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, Petey. What are you do? Oh. What are you doing, Dire Monkey? Nothing. Nothing. You see nothing. You know, I bet Dire Monkey could do a heck of an impression. For my of Krieger from from Archer probably because like when he's like nothing like that that like I, I just pictured in my mind because you know the screen's blocking him like I had Krieger back there like uh like he just got caught doing something <laughs> <laughs> creating clones of you all why no, I have no idea what you're talking about no have you never have you never watched Archer no what you are you're you're missing out. you it's are, hysterical. are yes it's you, wonderful you are, I love you that are show. behind love that show it's that wonderful. is one of my favorite shows. Love. But yeah, no, like see, I, I could see you mimicking Archer in some fashion. Me? Yeah, totally. Oh, absolutely. Where you, where you just be <laughs> like, I could absolutely see you walking along and then suddenly being like, wait, wait, I got something for this. I had something for this. Well, uh, did you watch the one where they uh, where he takes over the the space station? Yeah, and they've got him in the cuffs. Like, really? Do you need the restraints? He broke <laughs> Wu's arm while screaming, "Woo, woo!" I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he pops out of the trunk on the one where they're coming back from uh, Canada and he's like whoa did you see me shoot that guy <laughs> totally could that do movie, Archer that, that is that wait, is awesome fuck I had something for this 
gone. It's passed. gone. Yeah. It's and, but then someone else always adds something, and he's like, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Not quite what I had, but that was good. Because they always have the best one-liners, oh. those, those jabs at oh one another. Thing. What? What? If, what? What? If, what? If, what? Dark Monkey, if you have uh, Netflix, you what? need to catch up on Archer. Well, I was just looking up more crimes based on, on yeah, uh, films. Yeah, we got well, apparently somebody tried to emulate Twilight. Why? Why? I, I don't know. <laughs> what? But it says after a 13-year-old girl was bitten by a male classmate, a vice what principal the f- at their school investigated and learned that the boy had bitten 10 others in one month. When contacted, the boy's father said it was that it was his son's love of the Twilight film that made his bite him made him bite his fellow students. That's also why he comes home and rubs himself down with rubber cement and then and turn, glitter and glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, apparently somebody tried to emulate Dexter. Clearly, uh, he's not as good as Dexter. Clearly. <laughs> clearly, yeah. Again, See, you have if to you're have... reading about it, they failed. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh well, no That's wonder it was probably... a 17-year-old. He oh. tried to strike... Oh, he strangled his 10-year-old brother with his bare hands. What? That's not That's Dexter. Not, that's not really... Emul- yeah. Now, no. I guess the kid said uh, he was reading books about it on serial killers and he was watching Dexter, but that's not really emulating it. Yeah. Dexter is yeah. very methodical with what he does. Yeah. Yeah, like he's, he pre- he's got he a preps, process. He preps everything yeah. before he even does it. He very, goes and preps very the surgical. room. And, yeah. I think that that's... So, okay. So, uh, have you ever watched the, uh, the, the videos of Adam Ruins Everything? No. Love Adam Ruins Everything. Um, well, I, I've watched most of the stuff for everything it. Everything wrong they, with? Huh? <laughs> Go on. Anyway, so Did everything wrong with yeah. So they they've got uh, uh, no. It's not. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. that. No, it's not that. So they they but they they had uh, they were they were talking about why there's a security seal on um, medicine bottles, mm-hmm. and a portion of the way through it, they were like they have one of the people. It's uh, you'd have to watch the episode. It's really funny. But they they have this person that shows up, and and she's supposed to be like one of the the producers for that show going, all right, we're going to stop talking about ways that you could get poisons and stuff like that into medicines because we don't want to give bad ideas to people because apparently some guy had like poisoned a bunch of people with like cyanide or some nonsense like that. But Oh yeah. That was back in what the eighties or nineties. Yeah. yeah. He poisoned a bunch of, was it Tylenol Ra- aspirin? R- random aspirin. Yeah. Tylenol, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I think it was Tylenol. Tylenol. So he, he, he poison them and then the next thing you know they fix it by putting a security seal on it but then in Adam Rhodes everything the guy this crazy dude's like oh well you know I could just I could put some of the stuff on I could put like the uh, uh, touch stuff on the outside of the bottle mm-hmm. or I could like put an injection through the top of the bottle and, like they're start talking like oh yeah there's tons of ways you can still get it done and they're like okay we're gonna go ahead and put a stop right there before you give some <laughs> other crazy fucker an idea that they don't need to be doing this because Yikes. it's super scary to think that any random person could just like go out and change out your Lysol spray bottle with once something again, absolutely horrible. Once and again, everybody's concept of their own safety is merely an illusion. Yeah. Oh yeah. The world is a dangerous place. Oh yeah. No, it's, it, I think the, that episode actually referred to it as security theater because it's all just a big, it, it is, it's just a big fluff. It's just a big, it's, show. Theatrical. it's just theatrics. Uh, yeah. It's what like the TSA is. It's just theatrics. More than no, anything. TSA is a pain in the ass. TSA yes. is a pain in the ass, and they don't even work. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't even get the job done. Like, yeah, they failed. What was uh, when they tested last year? Was it like ninety percent? Yeah, of the it's time something like ninety-five percent. And yet, and yet, they still get to keep their job. Yeah, think, no, it's to, we, we serve a purpose. No, yeah, you don't. No, you slow what? everybody no, down. No, they do. No, th- and that's the purpose. The purpose yeah. is that it, 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 to create the illusion of, of whatever. The Theatrics. illusion of safety. Yeah. And it's funny because I was talking yeah. to someone about it. I'm like, oh, I, I don't see how you could possibly get through it. I'm like, because you're not trying. Yeah. Like, well, I, how would you? I'm like, Your no, lack you of imagination it. is what it is. You're that's not, what it is. Well, it, they might even be able to imagine it, but it's like they have not even tried any of these methods to see if it works. Well, that's what and, happens. And, is, and, and like, I'm not going to, and right. you're not going to, right. but... Someone who really wants to is Could. going to do it. Yeah, yeah. but and, and I think that's part of what what it is that we're seeing is is that some creative mind that wouldn't do it, and they're like most rational people look at this and they go, "You won't do this, right?" The guy that made the, like the 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 Saw movies goes, "Okay, well, most people, most normal people, wouldn't do something." Most of this people, nature. Which, by and, the and way, and the people who would one. try 
are going to kill themselves trying. Most well, of you them, would hope they're so. Not very good at but it. But when they put this movie together and they're putting it out there, you've got some sick, twisted little person that's like, you know what? That'd be really simple to do. And then they start de- the putting the idea together because they're looking at it, going, "That's really cool. That's what. That's what I want to emulate. And this is the groundwork for it." That right? was actually a thing. Go for it. Let's what do you, you got to say? Hold on, I got to find it. All right, you find it. So, but the thing is, is that you've got a creative mind that's looking at it and they're going, "Oh yeah, that'd be kind of clever, right?" And then you have somebody else that's going, mm, "That's more than clever. That's actually." you know, executable. We can actually do that. And it's terrifying because you take something that's supposed to just be made for TV magic, right? Um, and it's becoming a reality where you have people that goes, oh, okay, you got people that are that are going, okay, well, people are scared of this, right? The concept of being shot to death in the street or witnessing a murder, right? Like those Chinese uh, yeah. videos that we yeah, were discussing yeah. where you have this guy falling out into the street and then getting gunned down. People that are walking up on that are unarmed and they go that is that is scary you just witnessed somebody killing somebody else something that that person wants to clearly not you know and, and to them they it's real part of. you don't want any part of it because to them it's real whether those people are you know m- you know just trying what, to get a rise a out of somebody reasonable person believe right and so that's you, why it's the reasonable test in, in in the realm of law exactly so but what happens is they walk up and they see this and they think to themselves that is somebody that just got shot and so they don't want nothing to do with it so they turn and they run away Right, because they themselves don't want to get shot. Well, what happens is, is those idiots are going to eventually cross paths with someone that's not going to respond in the same light, and they themselves are going to suffer consequences as a result of it. So when you fake shoot somebody in the street, and it looks like you've really killed someone, and the officer that just happens to been bebopping along witnesses you do that, and you get gunned down for it, that's kind of your you, fault. Yeah, totally. You know, and then whenever the dead body, quote unquote. Pops up from behind the officer, the one that was trying to protect you because don't you were you getting sh- shot in the street. Zombie! Zombie! No. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> hopefully they don't respond that way. Uh, I knew this day was coming. Did you find it? Yes, I did. Okay. So, apparently, uh, it doesn't say what year this happened, but it says a Salt Lake City mother turned in her son and his friend after she overheard them plotting to kidnap, torture, and murder several people. The two boys, ages 14 and 15, had detailed plans to set up games in the quote unquote saw style to teach a lesson to people they claim were harming others. So this was vigilante saw. That's oh, what this was. I'm fairly apparently. certain that, but that's the premise of uh, saw itself too though. He's kind of trying to teach kinda, people. Yeah. He's trying to. He's teaching then, people to like rise above themselves. Well, but not all of those people had necessarily done something wrong. Right, but he was like so, um, and then, meanwhile, in Tennessee, two teenage girls found themselves in hot water after what they claimed was a prank gone wrong. That was 50, messed up. A 52-year-old woman received a voicemail in the Saw style stating that a friend had been hidden in her home and the caller was about to release the toxic gas they had rigged inside. She had to decide whether to save herself or risk saving her friend. When she received the message, it came at the worst possible time during a funeral procession. That's fucked up. Yeah, so no the one The woman was so terrified, she suffered a stroke. She recovered, but the girls were charged with phone harassment. Phone harassment? That seems like that sounds like it was bumped down, like hard yeah. bumped down, because that's awful. I mean, okay, so the thing is, is that you're creating a situation where someone could get hurt. is, yeah. is what's happening. Yeah, and and no and for knowing, no good reason, and for no good reason, but you're knowingly causing a situation where someone could get hurt. Now, in the in those kids' minds, where they're calling this woman, they're going, okay, well, the options are simple. Get out of the house, right? right. Mind, like, get out of the house, ha 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 ha. And there's no really, there's no gas, right? So there's there's nothing that's going to happen, you know, that's actually going to create harm. But the person receiving the phone call does not know. Doesn't well, does kind of like these that. morons that go out and rob a bank. Well, it's just a BB gun. Didn't know. Well, that. <laughs> you know, you know. Oh, it's just a water gun, and it looked awfully real at the time. Yeah. That's yeah. why you're shot. Well, it's like okay, so you know, they though, they have though if you're pellet talking guns. Of, though if you're talking about pranks, and and this somewhat leaves well, very much leaves the topic that we're on, but we're shifting more on like kids and pranks. What about the uh, kids that are starting to do the swatting? Swatting. So I don't like you. You irritate me. Twitch I know your address. Especially. So actually, this happened to one of your neighbors. That one chick. They, she had the uh, sh- uh, like two or three blocks just to the south of where you. Used to oh live. yeah. And and she had someone kept calling and saying, yep. "Oh, she's murdering her children yep. in the bathtub. And she's then, doing meth right now." Everybody go and over then, there. And then like all the cops would go over yep. there, and 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 you'd see them. You'd see all the cops run in with guns and and all this <laughs> other stuff. Yeah. So, so what's this called? It's called swatting. So kids are actually calling in like threats, trying to get the SWAT team to go kick in someone's door. Oh, for the love of Just God. Just as a prank? 
um, as a prank to get even with people. I mean, like they, I've read several stories where it's been it's been for several different reasons. So like, they give a false reason for the SWAT team to go bust in the door. Correct. Just, so I don't like you, and oh, I'm trying to screw awful. with you. So I'm so I call them up. I'm like, you're holding, <sighs> you know, ten kids, and you've got a bomb or something, I mean, wow. whatever. And well, so then the SWAT and, team. And here's the deal. Um, you know, as I'm sure some of our viewers know, I, I was and and have worked in law enforcement. That's why um, you're the long dick of the law. Exactly. Um, so the and, AKA and of course, face. And of course, you know, Justin Justin worked with me for uh, for a time, and we don't work together now. But you you're still doing Ish, stuff of that yeah. nature. Anyway, um, but the the thing is, is that um, when we get that call. <clears throat> We have to treat it as if it, right. that's what it really is. Because, right. because the one time that you don't. Because yeah. those things well, do and, occur. But, but I mean, yeah. those things do occur. Right. They, so, as unlikely and as, as improbable as it might be. It's still a possibility. It could still occur. Yeah. Welcome to the wonderful world of what if. Okay. Yeah. So we have to treat it like it is. Even if you know it's fake, Even, you well, still have to. How, I mean, okay. So this, this lady's house that, that, that he's referring to, we probably went over there. I know I went over there at least twice for this exact same issue. And the reality of it is, is He's that... He's given you four. So I guess it was four times that people went over oh, there. Oh, you've gone over there four times. Wow. I've been over there at least twice. But each time it was, it was something similar, and it would always boil down to about this. Um, there's yelling and screaming, and we've heard gunshots. Okay? So already we think that there's people inside that are arguing and screaming. Right. And there's a gun in play. Okay? So possibly a body. So maybe yeah. we don't know, but what we do know is is that there are people, they are fighting, and there's a gun. Much right. to her, potentially. Much to the that the worked against her, she did have a tendency to listen to her stereo and television very loud, very loud, watch mm-hmm. stuff. So and you could like, hear it out as you approach, you could hear yeah. stuff. Yeah. So at first, it when sounds these things were legit. We were thinking that okay, it's a neighbor who simply doesn't understand the difference between television and right reality. and reality. Because yeah. I mean, she had a surround. Well, that, that's after the stuff. fact. That's after the right. fact. But when we're first rolling up on it we have to treat it if it's real right. and and a long long time ago there was an instance where law enforcement was outgunned um it's happened fairly yeah and so often. we oftentimes do not um oh yikes is this a twitch video of someone actually getting swatted a few about a year ago it was a, there were several twitch streamers that were uh can, swatted. can you put it up on the other on the other screen as well so i can see uh, just drag it up there. Just drag it up to him. I, I've seen it. So uh, apparently, there's a Twitch video of uh, this guy. He's playing, and then the next thing you know, the door is like being knocked on, and suddenly he's being detained. Oh, I see that. <laughs> that's most unfortunate. Oh, that's kind of a dick thing to do to somebody. Yeah. Yeah, but hard. with with this situation, though, you know, we we roll in there. As if this is a real deal, right? right? Right. And if someone's got a gun in, involved, then we're going to come in, you know. Guns gu- blazing. Guns in hand. Well, not necessarily guns in place, but definitely guns in hand. Yeah. Right? Because we have to walk in prepared for that. Right. And so we walk in the door prepared for exactly that. And then when we get in there and we start sorting everything out, suddenly we go, okay, well, clearly there's nothing happening here. Then we start going, okay, well, maybe it's a neighbor that doesn't understand that it's a TV. Maybe it's a passerby that didn't so understand it's a TV. Enough times you and then out after it's... you get called out there so many times, it's been like six or seven times, and suddenly you're asking her, why would someone be doing this to you? Well, I've got an ex-boyfriend that has an issue with me. It starts to make a little bit though, more sense. Here, and here's the, tri- here's, the, here's the catch, though. A lot of people are like, oh, well, since you know that that's the case, then all you really have to do is just ignore it next time. Can't. Ah, oh, but you can't, because yeah. what happens when that person has the guy that's been, calling in. been calling up finally decides all right, the cops are now worn out. No one's coming. I can now go in and do whatever I want. Right. Nobody, and so when, after, regardless of who reports anything, yep. no one's showing up because yep. they know not to because come. So here, here it is. The we tenth, always do it. Here's the tenth time, and let's say they're watching at a distance, going, "Okay, it takes them this long to get here, and this is what the response is, right?" Yeah. And then on the eleventh time, no one comes. So then they do it on the twelfth time, no one comes, and then they do it on the thirteenth time. They go, well, you know, I could probably go over here and shoot this bitch, yeah, and no one's going to be the wiser. Yeah. Not to necessarily say that that's what what the case is, but we don't know that, right. so we have to respond. There in are people fashions. out there in the world that think that way, exactly. That would do that, exactly. So you know? yeah, and, and you have to. it's it's terrifying and it's horrible, but yeah. you have to take every precaution. We have to, you know, and it's kind of like with these geniuses with these clown things. You know, they're yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. it and, and they're going, you know. Um, my the the gut reaction is is someone's going to run from us and they're going to be scared and it's going to be funny ha 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 yeah. right um but th- it's that that 
small percentage yeah. where suddenly it doesn't work out like that, where someone does in fact get hurt. Right. And then you got people going, wow, this was really stupid. <laughs> so, uh, side note, would you, what would you do if you open and there's a mannequin dressed as a clown in nope. front of your door? Nope. 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 Yeah, are you nope. leaving? Nope. Or are you just shutting just, the door? I'll shut the door and I'll call someone to make it go away. You're, you're, nope. not, you're not even going to kick nope. it over? Nope. Nope. You're not. You're not going to. You're nope. not going to punch it. In the I've face. had someone actually look at me. Punch a size. Its I, face. I've had. A, I've actually had somebody at one point in time. They're like, you know, she's a decent looking woman. She's like, you know, what if I dressed up like a clown? Would you? Would you and I be able? To? I'm like, no, no, I wouldn't know. Mm-mm, not having anything to do with you. Nope, not in the slightest. No, no, no. Don't you dare drag anything up there and get hor- something horrible right here at the end of the episode. So here we are. We're like five minutes from the end of the episode. So I'm going to go over the last little bits here. Dire Monkey, I saw you were pulling something up on Spellbook in regards to the forums. What were you? you had something going on there? Uh, yes and no. Yes and no. Somebody sent me a message about thoughts on something. Fantastic. I was Just making working. sure that uh, before I got over here to Allie, Yo. what do you go to the uh, forums on Spellbook for? To win things. Yeah. I almost, I almost. You almost forgot? I almost forgot. <laughs> See, almost. that's why I always pop first, quiz That's you. why I gave you that blank You're face like, for a second. Oh, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot. I haven't why been we on the website the in a while. I don't know. Uh. So we go over there every now and then, and we can we can win stuff because every now and then, Dire Monkey actually posts up stuff that you can actually win, uh, books and shirts and things of that nature on occasion, and that that's an ongoing thing. So make sure you get over there and check them out. You also want to make sure that you like and subscribe them on anything that they're on, but you also want to make sure you do that with uh, Flick Freaks as well as us. You know, get on uh, on on our channel and subscribe. Yeah, give to us, us some love too. Yeah, absolutely. Like Arch Crusader. Yeah, because that guy is. I want to meet this guy now. Yeah, well, I... Well, maybe not. I don't know. It, just, I, he, could he be an internet stalker? I, I don't know. Could be. Okay. I, it, there's you don't know. Until you... You know, know, I don't have to worry, though, because he likes Josie, so I'm I'm safe, right? Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding, Arch Crusader. What if, he, what if he thinks you're Josie? What if <gasps> nah, he, he What if, what if sure he thinks he you impersonate? What if, what if you are one of these people who play multiple characters on What if show? you dress up like Josie I mean, and I know then, like, chase people I, down in the I street? Know, I know you're not, because I like Josie. <laughs> I, I've I've I met her. I, I so used that's to have how he knows. He doesn't yep. like me. He likes Josie. Oh. He doesn't like me. Well, that's how he knows I'm not Josie. I guess. So she's so, really Josie. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> we just have her calling on a bad connection. <laughs> it's like that's why she's coast Gladys. to coast. Yeah. That's why she sounds like Gladys. When that's why calls. she sounds like Gladys. Is it's just <laughs> you calling from a really shitty phone. Not really. Josie's a wonderful person. We love yeah. having her on. So I'm glad Josie's taking over. We should have another one with her on. We will. Um, I think that uh, for the upcoming uh, uh, Doctor Strange, I'm probably going to have her on. Oh, my it. God. I'm so excited I know. For that. It's going to be so good. <gasps> It's, it's going to be so thin. weird it to might see. not be that good. Shut your dirty mouth. Fuck you, I, get out. I didn't <laughs> say it's not. I just said don't expect too much. I always expect enough from Marvel because they're just killing it. The only one you the only Marvel so movie I've been disappointed about by. Superman and I wasn't that excited That was about DC. No. It, it, no, I I get that. I think my I point, think it was a dumpster my, fire. My, my, I get that. My point being he had high hopes and expectations for well, it. I can always and have high hopes. Wasn't. I always, even with DC so, stuff. So I'm just saying, I'm just trying to protect you. Yeah, no, I'm listen, even with, even with DC That's stuff. That's all I'm saying. Even with DC stuff, I have high hopes for it. I'm always like, yeah, this is, it, it could they have the be good. But they, they do. Fall and then short. they just can kill it every time. Just, they're just like, you know what? Let's, we could make a good movie, but why would we? Let's just shit on it and take uh, their money. See, I, I think more, I actually think DC's like, all right, well, they come up with this great idea and they're like, awesome. Now, how can we. Fuck this up so everybody hates it. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, and by the way, there was a uh, uh, reference head uh, on on Big Bang Theory. One of the guys uh, dresses up as uh, uh, Flash, and like, well, how did you get so much money? He says, I invested in Marvel. Yeah, yeah. I that was the actually uh, Sheldon was uh, hallucinating yeah, at that yeah, point yeah. in time. That was really funny. Have you seen that? No, it's one of the. It's like the newest episode for it. Sheldon. Yeah. Sheldon has. An I'm ener- a little behind. Sheldon has an energy drink. He has a caffeine. Caffeine oh. addiction. Dear, he's falling God. asleep, and as he's falling asleep, he kind of like wakes up just enough to have this vision. Who of, was stupid enough to give him an energy he, drink? He falls asleep against a, so, a vending machine, and as he's like sitting there, kind of like almost asleep, he has a vision of the Flash. The Flash is like have an energy drink. Well, yeah, because the one episode where he has a single cup of coffee that was decaf was the he episode. Has a, he has a whole <laughs> Do you energy that one? drink. Yes. Oh, my God. That's the one where he zooms right. He dresses up as the Flash. Yeah. He actually has a dream about the Flash. And he's like, how did you get so much money? He's like, I invested in Marvel. And he yeah. like disappears around Jeez. the corner. It's no, hysterical. D- DC has so much potential. And, and then they just drop they the ball just, constantly. Yeah. It, 
They're doing it well on CW. I, that's the TV versions of everything for them is wonderful. But movie stuff, they're just like, you know what? Well, all you people. The, the, all know. you people, you can have a, the director's cut after the fact. But the, that's after you pay for going to the movie theater and watching the it. The TV stuff, I don't know, is wonderful. But it's, it is. It's what you've got. It's good. Um, it, it, it could be better. It's good. Um, if they if they would invest a little bit more money. It could be better, stuff, sure. Be but it's good. Better. It's 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 very decent. Yeah. Um, I'm... Up and down with with different episodes of different different shows, but uh, yeah, no, they they still the problem is they're they're missing the boat by connecting the two. Because so I yeah. marvel, true, they but. they have connected their their movies with their television shows with and yeah. even somewhat like make comments on on some of their cartoons. But but DC's like, and we're gonna have parallel universes, yay! But all of that aside. I think that we've pretty well covered as much as we can all the stupidity of all of the dumb shit you can do is trying to emulate movies. Someone needs to try and emulate Superman. Uh, no, because then it would be just like the Dane Cook version where he's talking about wearing the shirt and then getting shot in the chest plate and then bleeding and then calling you right. super bleeder. Because um, <laughs> Dane Cook talked about that. He's like, it, you, you can't make a bullet bounce off nope. you? Don't wear the shirt. It's don't super bleeder. It's super bleeder. It's, it's, it's super so, bleeder. He just keeps calling him super bleeder. So... This is the end of the episode. Make sure you like and subscribe us on all our stuff. Check out the Flick Freaks channel. Get over there and check out all that stuff because we are doing all kinds of Let's Plays and things of that nature with them. Make sure you get Heroes of Dire and everything that Spellbook Studios has to offer to you. And then join us next time, which will be about two weeks out from now, roughly. And that will get us uh, up to the next episode. And then we'll be looking forward to uh, the Star Wars movie coming up shortly thereafter. Rogue it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I really it's be wish good. we could have talked <sighs> about that. We, you probably come back and talk to us at that point in time. So, do you know oh, how no, many people? I only get a bit, do you know how long he's been doing this? And this is only the second time I've been invited on. Well, it's, I mean, uh, you know, well, he said he said his his fault. It's not That's, my fault. It is no. your fault. So, you can. I've thank, even talked to you. Thank like, you. hey, thank you for joining us this evening, and I will have you back on again in the future. So, like in two two more years, is uh, that, a is that year, what I'm getting? a two more, year, two more years? a year, maybe, maybe, maybe. Shut your whole Wayne John. Thanks for oh, Thank lies. you for being on with us. I do appreciate it, though. It was entertaining having you with us tonight. Anytime, man. So, Dire Monkey? Yeah. Got anything you want to add? I'm good. Allie? Bye, Internet. Bye. Now I miss Jairus. Interwebs. Make sure to check out our website, All, po- all Tower. P- fucking hell. <laughs> Bloody hell, mate. Let me try that one again. I pooped.